Well, look who came out to play. Dodge, thank you for, um, <laughs> thank you for, uh, taking this thing back and, uh, doing what needed to be done to get her out. It's good. It's good. It's good. She's going to need a little bit of love because we have some little friends in there that may want to come out to play. But we'll take care of that. It's not a big deal. But here's what is a big deal. Good old Swanson. Good. Good. What time is it? I've lost all track. Well, good afternoon, uh, Dodge. I, I bid thee good afternoon and uh, the rest of you goons out there and the mutants. I'm in front of your recently liberated Newcastle 30 chassis. Thank you so much, man. You guys had the, the castanets to uh, chip away at it. Looks like it was some Tolex glue that had sort of squeezed out of the, um, the cut ends and uh, bonded to the chassis itself. So good job getting that out there. I didn't have the guts to do that, but I'm glad you did. Uh, this, uh, this is an interesting amp with respect to design. I, I don't know what to say about it because it's so alien compared to what I'm used to looking at. There's a blend of, there's a blend of pretty damn good PCB technology here. Comedy, uh, which I showed in the intro and uh, what, what appears to be some standard residential uh, electrical bits in here. So this has to be inspired by the, by the English folks out there who, who really like using those terminal blocks. But that's okay. Because they've been using those things in the boxes for ages, and that is what this is inspired by, no doubt. We're looking at a quad of EL84s and uh, cathode bias configuration, some nice Nichicon caps throughout. And I do like uh, that particular brand. It looks like we have some Mallory type caps uh, floating around in there. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Big old uh, beefy 5408s um, handling rectification duties. And um, well, a, a much cleaner uh, chassis. There is some uh, oily residue throughout even on, um, well, it, it really threw out literally. I'm gonna um, sort of degrease this thing just with some uh, isopropyl alcohol later. But I just have time for a quick turn on and let's see what's going on with this thing. This thing has power scaling, uh, one volume control and one tone control. The knobs are not, uh, at, at least the power scaling knob is not aligned to the indication marks there on the, the front control panel, the faceplate as it were. But she is now on uh, the current limited power supply. Let's look at, we're gonna test her at 115, uh, 115 volts from the variable power supply. Let's get her warming up. Pardon that, sorry. My, if she's gonna. I could hear the fans kicking up. There's no pilot lamp as of right now. Always assume you have, and, and then I'm looking and I'm seeing some current draw. Never assume that there's no power applied because you don't see a light. Don't assume that. I've done that. Uh, I've, I've certainly done that before. I see some pilot lamps over there in the uh, EL84s. And uh, let's take her off a of standby. There's a third uh, switch here, car, three carlings here uh, in a row. Uh, we have a power standby and a power scaling bypass switch. Let's turn her on. And she sprang to life. She's a noisy lady. Sounds like we have some microphonic tubes. Yeah, I hear uh, microphonic EL84s and some noisy pots. I'm going to turn her over and, uh, and I'll show you what I mean by microphonic. All right. Um, 
Now, is this the most sensual angle you've ever seen? No. No, it's not. I'm going to uh, apply power again. And we have one fan, uh, the smaller PC fan right here, that's quietly drawing some, some breeze there. And this one is actually uh, going to be performing some a pulling function. There's the power. Now, uh, these are reissue Muller tubes. These are EL84s or 6BQ5s, depending on uh, what side of the pond you're on. The one all the way to the right on the eastern side of this uh, chassis has its silk screening completely burned away. Now, the great thing about these tubes is there's a the little tickle top so on, on top. This is... Um, the last part of the glass forming process where there's a bit of a, this is when they're evacuating all of the, the air from these little glass envelopes and whoop, that's where they seal them. Watch this when we get towards the end. Give it a little tickle. And there she is. And this guy is noisy. This guy's very noisy. We have some you need a new quad of EL84s for certain. And this guy is very noisy. There's one of, look, the fan's trying to start, but it's actually captured on this. There we go. So let me see what's uh, cooking. I'm gonna have to leave the premises and then, um, Hopefully pick this up a little bit later on this evening. I hope this finds you guys well out there. Happy Friday. Uh, do all the fun stuff you can do on the weekends.